or radiotherapy. During this time, we go to the step two because during the, the medical therapy, they are gonna have like a side effect. So we gonna take care of this step as well. People may have a lot of like mucositis or candidiasis, or any people who have an independent status, people who cannot come to the hospital, cannot go to the dental clinic, they at home, they cannot move. So we have to move ourselves to the to meet the patient, right? So in this area, Dr. Kanyarat, who is the, the wife of the dean, uh, take this responsibility. We try to uh, collaborate this program with the undergrad course and also in the uh, project as well as well. In the, in the undergraduate course, we have a community practice. They send the they send the top student to to the and then we need the very close to the time of the time. And this some for examination and also uh, some treatment. If patients don't need advanced treatment, just the time is not basic. The top hospital right now, we now we gonna develop a special top cream that is uh, try to manage the patient has special need care for these three elements. And for the doctor camera, they use many things like social, right, and travel to manage their patient. Now they have a lot of many patients. And also, sometimes we go to the rural area to give some dental treatment. In this case, the patient, not when she was about 10 years old, she got like a, uh, don't have enough um, copper in their blood so they got some con some syndrome so and she cannot go to the hospital to receive even the medical treatment so when we go to the raw area we have to visit her as well in our team we work together with the faculty of our medicine in Chiang Mai University okay so we have to go to big team and when we go there we spend about five days or seven days to to give the treatment. Uh, in this year we went for seven days and we can give the dental treatment for one thousand and one hundred and thirty three patients. Okay. This um in this year this year since one October last year to thirty September this year we have many projects of thirty six projects. Seven Royal Family Project, Seven Specialty King Project, and also the Seven uh, the Eight Project of the faculty. This is some example, and you see uh, some uh, medical unit, and we have many dentists from the faculty and also from outside the faculty as well, as for well alumni. Okay, in, in the field, let me give them some treatment. So the next part we will talk about the uh, another kind of patient who in the special area as well that they will be presented by Dr. Pakimon. Okay, um, I think I'm the last one from our school to um, sharing our speech with you and my competency is changed and sometimes we cannot deal with them by our own, I don't know, like you you manage them here, you know, but I think we're gonna hear from you guys later, okay? So, um, I just want to show you, this is our um, student at Chiang Mai University from pharmacy school. She's pharmacy student, and you know, she got crowned as Miss Thailand this year, and she was also a president of Student Association of Chiang Mai University, and her campaign is CMU for All. Let me show you a little bit about, you know, when the moment that she was crowned on stage, and you know, she did the sign language, you know, to talk to um, people with disabilities, 
And also, if you notice, this is her skirt. Thailand, but we still, you know, want to make our dentistry for all. We want to make equity. We we actually provide, you know, treatment for all kinds of patients. But I would say, in terms of equality, we we do not really take care of them as we're supposed to. And you know, we have doing a lot of good work like um, my colleagues have mentioned to do uh, to you earlier, but in some part, like you know, for example like Cliff, Cliff and Palette, we have already like um, the tenth meeting, like have the networking all over the country and also about NASA form that my colleague already mentioned about it. But you know, in some area that um, the director of the hospital, Dr. Jijiro, already mentioned, we're not doing very well in that area, but we are trying very hard, you know, to improve in this area. And my responsibility is, you know, to also try to get, you know, all people in our dental school to get involved in adult with intellectual disability because for them, you know, there are so many challenges. In, in this group of patients because you know they have uncooperative behavior, they have concomitances with diseases, some known and some are unknown. And you know, higher risk of our diseases and the home care is very difficult because they are very dependent. And our school in the past have some limitations because you know we are dental school based, not hospital based. So some dentists we are not very used to you know, the kids with um, severe systemic disease, and we don't have, you know, specific training or workflow in this area. And more importantly, we don't have any specialists in special care dentistry for adults, for kids, pediatric dentistry. It's about, you know, we treat them by the things where, you know, they, they are sent to some people. If they are with us since they were young, they will still be with us. But if they walked in with the older, sometimes they were sent to um, family and community dentistry or oral and maxillofacial surgery. But um, we need also help a lot in this area and also operative dentistry, all of the same endodontics and prosthodontics. Um, we have done a pilot clinic in the past few years, and this year, um, like Dr. Shonati said, we are about to have um, the postgraduate level. Every discipline have to learn about special care dentistry. And also we have the elective clinic in our care for intellectual disability. And also undergraduate students have to take you know, this, this discipline as well. And for right now we have just you know dental treatment in the dental chair every Wednesday afternoon and also for the full month we have the visitation under general anesthesia is once a month. So in the past we do also development, um, pediatric dentist has been taking care of him but now he got um, periodontal disease so they refer him to our school so we just use a simple technique like distraction, you know, like counting. This is like one, two, three, four, five, in time. And also, you know, um, he, he actually is quite cooperative because he's just been trained since he was young, but he's making some noise and not, you know, like um, be still for a very long time. So we're singing to him, you know, trying to distract and try to decrease anxiety for him. This is just a simple procedure. I'm the one who's singing and show my friend, um, which is who, who's not here, she's a periodontist, who helped me with the root planning. So we're working as a team, and I think my friend now, she kind of get more confident and not afraid of this group of patient anymore. Okay, and finally, if they have a lot of work to be done, their diseases or their cooperation is not, you know, um, well suited for treatment in their chair. But in this case, it's a cerebral palsy patient with epilepsy. 
So our colleague in community dentistry, which is uh, Dean Spice, Dr. Ganyara, you know, went, went to a home visit and found her. So she, she sent her over to get, you know, all the treatment that's done. And we try to, like I said, to expand, you know, the, the knowledge that we have in the dentistry and combine, you know, with um, other specialties. We, we're doing um, a training. We're inviting, collaborating with um, other schools and we're inviting professor. I see he's from Chicago, USA. And to tell you, Although you are not uh, Miss Thailand Universe 2023, in my opinion, you got much, much more great crowd uh, than her since you work by treating patients especially with your special heart. <laughs> and uh, we come to the end now. Mm -hmm. And we have uh, 25 minutes for breaking time, right? Uh huh. After that, we come back to this room again. Oh, okay. Breaking in this room. Uh huh. And after that, uh, come coming to the next uh, part uh, with a special lecture from the Seabird Dental Hospital and College uh, staff. Thank you.